Thank you, Madam Chair. Let, let me just start out by saying, Mr. Chu, that I don't find uh, what you suggested with Project Texas and this firewall uh, that's being suggested um, to whoever uh, will be will be acceptable to to me. In other words, um, you know, the, I still believe that the Beijing Communist government will still control and have the ability to influence what you do, and so. This idea, this Project Texas, is, is simply not acceptable. According to a recent report, TikTok is on target to make between 15 and $18 billion in revenue this year. Is that an accurate forecast? Congressman, um, as a private company, we are not sharing our I thought numbers that's what you publicly. Would say. How much money will TikTok make by delivering personalized advertisements just to your users in the United States? Will you give me that information? Again, uh, Congressman, respectfully, thought, as a private company, we're not disclosing that. Look, um, my cons the impression you're giving, and I, I know, you know, I can understand why you're trying to give that impression, is that, um, you know, that you're just performing some kind of public service here, right? I mean, this is a benign company that's just performing a public service. I, maybe you're not, maybe that's not what you're saying, but it, I don't buy it, right? My, my concern here is primarily about the privacy issue, the fact that TikTok is um, making all kinds of money by collect, gathering uh, private information about Americans that um, they don't need for their business purposes, and then they sell it. And I mentioned this legislation that the, ranking, that the uh, chair and I have uh, that would minimize data collection and make it much more difficult for TikTok and other companies to do that, so uh, what, what, if you, you want to make some commitments today, why don't I, I'll ask you to make some commitments with regard to this legislation, and you know, you're going to tell me, well, the bill isn't passed, and so therefore I don't have to do it. But you know, you say you're benign, you want to do good things for the public. So let me ask you, uh, why not? Uh, what about a commitment that says that uh, you won't sell the data that you collect? Would you commit to that, not selling the data you collect? Uh, Congressman, I believe we don't sell data at, uh, to any data brokers. You don't sell to anyone? We don't sell data to data brokers. I didn't ask you data brokers. You sell it to anyone. In other words, I, uh, under our bill, you can only use the data for your own purposes, not to sell it to anyone. Would you commit to not selling your data to anyone? Uh, Congressman, uh, I actually am in support of some rules. I didn't ask you whether the rules. Yeah. I asked you whether the company, TikTok, would commit to not selling its data to anyone and just using it for its own purposes internally. I can get back to you on the details okay, of that. Okay, get back to me. All right. Another thing that's in our bill says that uh, we would prohibit targeting marketing to uh, to people under the age of 17. Would you be willing to agree to prohibit targeted marketing to people, Americans under the age of 17? Congressman, we have actually stricter rules for advertisers in terms of what they can show to our so users. So do you under prohibit, tar would you be willing to prohibit targeted marketing to those under 17? That's what's in our bill. I understand that there's uh, some talk and some legislation around this, around the country. Well, again, I'm not interested. I wanted you to make that commitment without the legislation. Since you say you're a good company, you want to do good things, why not? It's something we can, we can look into and get back okay, to Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, we also have in our bill a requirement of heightened protection for sensitive data, uh, particularly location and health data. Would you commit uh, to not uh, gathering or dealing with location or health data unless you get affirmative consent uh, from the uh, consumer. In other words, under our bill, those are categorized as sensitive, and unless the person specifically says, I want you to collect that data, you wouldn't be able to, location and health data. Would you commit to that? Congressman, in principle, I support that. Which, by the way, we do not collect um, precise G GPS data at this point. And I do not believe we collect any health data. All right, so yeah. you'd be willing to make that commitment that from now on you won't collect location health data without what you're saying at all. Is that Congressman, a commitment? We, this is data that's frequently collected by many other companies in our industry. I know other companies do it. I don't think they should without affirmative consent. You said you want to be a good actor. So why not make that commitment to me today? We, we're committed to be very transparent with our users about what we collect. I don't think what we collect, I don't believe what we collect is more than most see, players in the industry. my problem here is you're trying to give the impression that you're going to move away from Beijing and the Communist Party. You're trying to give the impression that you're a good actor. But the commitments that we would 
seek uh, to achieve those goals are not being made today. They're just not being made. You're going to continue to gather data. You're going to continue to sell data. You're going to continue to do all these things uh, and continue to be under the aegis of, of the Communist Party through, the, through your uh, you know, uh, organization that owns you. So in any case, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Gentleman yields back.